Bora TV. The world is thinking. I take a lot of photography of just stuff because um, I always, you know, you go somewhere and you always want to take something with you. And I'm glad I do because a lot of times when I do storyboards, I'm able to, to draw from my own library and not just bust my head all day over uh, looking through some stock stuff. So um, that works for me. I love photography. I, I like um, just looking at something different and learning to look at something different. That's the thing about it that really inspires me is just you sort of, you lock yourself in a moment that you have to study. And um, I like that. It's good anyways. What else can you say about that? So for Six Feet Under, um, I went and I found some stock on this one. And I really like the singularity of, of the imagery of the, the foot and the gurney. Those were the two things that kind of set me off on this. And I liked that you couldn't see the person. I thought it was a good way to not have to show cast. Um, I was a little bit concerned about the death metaphor and that whole um, theme, you know, that their show deals with, and I didn't want it to be something negative. And um, this gave me a chance to, to really test my ability as a communication thinker is, um, you know, how do, I, how do I turn this into something that is more ethereal and, and surreal and something that's more, um, that has a lot of depth to it. You know, we, um, um, life and death are a very serious matter, especially what our approach is to it and what we believe about it. And so I kind of went down that road. They liked it, obviously. Um, I uh, had made some uh, thumbnails to kind of try to test my idea. I wanted to be centered around the life of a mortician, um, sort of a daily working process. I think I was a little more liter literal about it than I should have been. Um, but, you know, you, you kind of have to go there first. And um, I think as a younger designer, I used to be afraid that if... I did something um, that was cliched or literal just straight out that I would ultimately, that would become the end product. Whereas now I kind of look at it like, sometimes you have to start there. You know, sometimes blue is blue and red is red. And, and you know, um, you just kind of start there. And then as the process develops, then you really question yourself and you really kind of sort these things out as you go along. And that's how I like to work anyways. So um, I, I came up with this, and we showed this to the studio along with the storyboards. I'm sorry about the image quality. It came from a very small file, but this is what it is here. Those kind of things really go a long way in, present, in presenting um, motion because um, you could show frames until you're blue in the face, but they really have to get a sense of the timing and um, how it tests against their edits and all that kind of stuff. So um, motion tests and animatics and all that are very important. 